I'm thankful and love my family. However, if I have to pick any, it's the seven little ones that my nieces and my nephews that I absolutely adore and would, they're the only ones in this world who would say jump and I would ask how high. So. I am thankful for my parents because I've been going through a lot lately. I mean, like emotionally, I mean, I've been very busy and they've been very supportive through all of it. So I'm very thankful for them. Uh, this season, I am thankful for my fiance. I am very expi- excited to spend the rest of my life with her. Um, I'm most thankful for my mom because she's been there for a lot of things since, especially middle school. So, mom, if you see this, I love you. My husband and my daughter and my extended family and friends that all support me, um, even when I'm not my best or I'm at, at my lowest. My kids, grandkids, and good health. My sister because she makes me laugh. 2.24 p.m. My parents. My mother. My family. My dogs. My friends. You know, I have those people in my life that can help pick me up, um, and I know that they're always there for me. Oh, Randy. Don't play with your food. Eat it. I've had an idea. Dude, I was gonna make it melon. <laughs> I don't know what to make. I low key want to use my hands. All right, if you're using hands, I'm using hands. That's that's this is looking better. Um, I personally think I came in here all business. I knew what my goal was. I was thinking about a stick of stories from the start. Um, completely sweeped all the competition out there. I mean, people next to me were trying to copy me. They were frantic, scared, nervous, and I was just out there confidence. It's the battlegrounds right here. Um, I think I really uh, competed well. Good team. Uh, I'd like to thank my coaches and everyone out there. But uh, competition swept away. Um, I'll be here till next year. Mrs. Maxson here. Um, Not really a lot going on. Tomorrow is a one hour early release. I hope you all have an amazing break. Relax, enjoy your time with your family and come back refreshed. Hey guys, we're here with Ms. Musto, Carolina, Mrs. Maxson, Jack Edwards, Ariella. And so what's your best like turkey noise? <laughs> That's what I got.
a really good question. Um, What's your best quirky call? Um, gobble gobble. Okay. Imagine the year is 1621, and the air is crisp with the scent of autumn leaves. The pilgrims, weary from their journey in the harsh New England winter, are preparing for what would become known as the first Thanksgiving. But what if I told you this iconic feast almost didn't happen, because of one rebellious turkey? It all began with William, a determined pilgrim with hunting skills honed from necessity. He set out at dawn, musket in hand, to find the perfect bird for the feast. Little did he know, he was being watched. Tom the turkey, a bird unlike any other, sensed the impending danger. With sharp eyes and a cunning mind, Tom devised a plan. He wouldn't be anyone's dinner. As William stalked through the forest, he spotted Tom. The turkey stood still, almost inviting the hunter closer. Just as William aimed his musket, Tom sprang into action. With a swift peck, he knocked the weapon from William's hands. A battle ensued, feathers flying, and William stumbled back, bewildered by the turkey's ferocity. It was a clash of man versus beast. Tom, victorious, rallied his fellow turkeys. Word spread quickly through the forest. This was a call to arms. Turkeys, pheasants, and even the timid quail joined forces. They wouldn't just defend themselves they would launch an attack on the pilgrim settlement. At dawn, the turkeys marched, their ranks filled with determination and a thirst for freedom. From the treetops, they descended upon the unsuspecting pilgrims. Chaos erupted, feathers and beaks clashed with crude weapons and household items. The settlement was under siege. Pilgrims scurried, but the turkeys were relentless. Amidst the turmoil, William, humbled by his defeat, saw the futility of the conflict. He raised his hands, calling for a truce. The leader, Tom, approached cautiously. In a moment of understanding, William extended an olive branch, literally a branch from an olive tree. The gesture signified peace. The turkeys retreated and the pilgrims regrouped. There was a newfound respect between man and bird. The first Thanksgiving feast was not just a celebration of survival, but a tribute to the fragile peace forged between the pilgrims and the turkeys. So when you sit down for your Thanksgiving meal this year, remember the tale of Tom the turkey, the bird who fought back. Beach walking, huh? You know, you're going to be in Chicago in less than three hours around there. We don't have any traffic, and I don't think we should. It's Thanksgiving. Moving now. Welcome to BVA Baking. Today, we will be conquering the Libby's 100% Pure Pumpkin Pie Recipe on the side of the can. Let's get it! Okay, so let's add All right, so it calls for three-fourths of a cup of sugar. It calls for two eggs. Egg two. Half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Also calls for half a thing of ground ginger. Finally, calls for half one fourth a teaspoon of ground cloves. Okay, next it calls for me to put the pumpkin mix. 
in with the eggs and stir calls for some canned milk let's open the pie pan calls for mixing the dry and pine mixture. Now this calls for the pull into this. Now that we have finished the mixing progress, let's put it in the oven that is preheated to 425 degrees and let's set the timer for 30 minutes. Let's go! Good morning, I'm Betty Crocker, and today we're going to be cooking a Thanksgiving turkey. But first, we need to actually find our turkey. And as you can see, we have one right in its natural habitat, and if we are very careful, we might be able to get it first strike. Come here, turkey, turkey! Hello there, little turkey. How are you today? I am Betty Crocker. Nice to meet you. I am going to kill you now. It's okay. Don't make this hard. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Get back here. Get back here. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble. Now, we have finally got our turkey. Hello everyone, today we're having this turkey in this school somewhere in the school and we'll have two teams trying to find it. We don't know where they'll, how long it'll take them to find it, but they got three hints and that's all they get to find it. And that's it. This is the turkey. pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. all.